Hi everybody. Good afternoon. You are here with Abby and I. As you know, we are the founders and directors at Bridgeway Academy. And we're excited to welcome you into a new exclusive opportunity this year. Um, we felt that it was fitting to bring back some wine since we started out our journey 17, 17 years, ago, years ago over a glass of wine. And so I'm going to pour us a <laughs> glass of wine so we can actually enjoy it while we talk. Okay. <laughs> so we are going to be engaging with our amazing superheroes and heroes um, every couple of months. So we just invite you to sit back with us, hopefully try to have a little bit of a conversation about what's happening at Bridgeway um, as we wind down on Wednesday with you. Yeah, I mean, this should be a lot of fun. It's kind of fun to just reminisce and talk about where we've been and where we're going, especially today as we've just started back recently with all of our staff and coming back here. So do you want to talk about it a little bit, Eric? Yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting to be here. This is our start of our 17th school year. Crazy. And we have been through a lot over the past couple of years to get into our new space that we are starting in all together with both our primary and secondary programs um, and our therapies for the 17th run of a school year. Yeah, I think it was really um, powerful uh, the other day when we had our staff standing up um, and we could see the years from people when they started with us 17 years ago because yes. we still have some staff that's still here from 17 years ago besides just you and I, um, all the way down to the 40 plus staff that have just either recently started or started this week. Yes, it's an exciting time to be a new employee at Bridgeway. We've experienced a lot of growth over the last year, getting into our new facility that has allowed us to do that. And I know we have some new programs that we are starting for the first time this year that we wanted to share with you, our community. And I don't know, Abby, what are you most excited about as far as some of the new offerings that we're doing this year? Yeah, I think that growth has really been exciting and what this building is able to allow for our programs. And, you know, again, we've always said that Bridgeway Academy has become what it is today because of our amazing staff. And there's been programs that um, we haven't been able to do because we just didn't have the space and the ability to do it. And, um, you know, towards, I don't know, spring this year, um, we had some of our, what I'm really excited about is we had some of our staff from our applied and academic programs who came and said, you know what, we have kids that are graduating and we really could do a really great job if we were able to have a 12 plus program for them. So for our students who graduated, they can stay now with Bridgeway um, through their 21st birthday um, and some may be able through their 22nd. So I'm really excited about those opportunities and to see how that program grows and stuff over the next couple of years. Um, what about you? Well, and I was going to add that it was really telling some of the feedback that we got from parents when we announced that we were going to continue offering programming through 22. We had parents calling us in tears, writing us notes, saying that they just couldn't believe how grateful they were for knowing that their kids could continue on with their programming and just the, the feeling, even families that had younger students, not just those emerging 12th and 12th graders and, and post grads, but um, some of the families of younger kids. So that was really powerful to me. Well, I, we announced it on Friday and I remember I got a message and all I know is a parent sent me a message and it said, I can't believe you made me cry again. <laughs> and I was like, what did I do? You know, and, um, and that's when she said, you have made our dreams come true. And so and I immediately sent you a message and I was like, oh, I was like, oh my gosh, I was so excited to hear. And then just, just looking at the post even on our Facebook page from families that were like, my kids are gonna be fine and they're gonna be safe now for the next, for some of them, five, 10 years, you know? So yeah, that was really awesome. exciting for sure. And another area that we're able to grow because of our new facility is with some of our, the total other end of the mm -hmm. spectrum with some of our younger students. We just announced that we are gonna be opening a clinical ABA program as part of our therapy center and so it will enable us to serve some of those kids that have been recently diagnosed 
that maybe aren't quite ready um, at the age for preschool yet or aren't ready for a full day of preschool, but can come to get their ABA services here on site with our clinicians. So I feel like this is gonna be a real, meeting a real need in the community, um, even just with our current you know, clientele, current applicants, um, and for the future as well, as kids are getting diagnosed earlier and earlier. So super excited to see those littles coming in for their therapies. Yeah, and watching our staff really be excited and getting behind these programs, I think is what's really exciting. And they're so on board with the, what we're able to provide for them here now. And um, just are coming along with us and are so excited that we are taking all these steps. So I think this is gonna be a great year. I'm, I'm really excited about it for sure. Yeah. And I don't wanna leave without talking about some of the work leading up to this year. I'm really proud of the work that you did with our team um, to really advocate and lobby for our families. And so do you wanna talk about that win that we had towards the end of the summer? Yeah, I mean, so what, you know, for six years, Autism Scholarship has um, stayed at $27,000. And about four years ago, um, for the state budget, it happens every two years, we started lobbying um, and it did not, was not successful, you know, four years ago. And um, we were like, you know, we're not going to, we're not gonna give up, you know, there's always other things, because we know what this means for not only our families, but for Ohio as a whole to have an increase, because we've heard about how many kids, there's so many services that are available that they're not able to access, especially here at Bridgeway Academy. So um, it wasn't, it was definitely teamwork. It wasn't just me. I mean, thank you very much for that, but it was everybody. Um, and we are so excited that after meeting with our lobbyists and working, we as Bridgeway Academy were the, one of the biggest catalysts in the state for an increase this year to $31,500 for Autism Scholarship, which is really exciting. The other great thing is that it's also indexed for next year um, by 3%. So we already, our families already know for next year that they don't have to worry about because, you know, for us, we always increase each year as well so that we can pay our amazing staff. Um, so those families are set and they're, they're ready to go and we're not done. We're still going to be working with our lobbyists on making that index permanent. So we don't have to do this every, every year. It really should just be a natural index each year. So we're really, really excited about that and, and for the future there. So, um, you know, and you know, it, it obviously helps all of our families here at Bridgeway, our, our 220 families that we're welcoming in this year, but it also helps over 4,100 other families across the state of Ohio and 267 other organizations also benefited from this. So again, love that Bridgeway wants to be a part of this community and make it better, not just for our students, but also for other students. That really helps to close the gap on the financial burden for our families. And so that's huge. I'm just so proud that we've been able to advocate for our kids and families and um, to, to do that. So, um, well, we, I think, need to wrap it up. <laughs> probably. <laughs> we, we thought probably. we weren't going to have enough. <laughs> we were going to have too much time. talk more than you <laughs> wanted to hear from us. But um, we just know that your, your giving just truly reflects your commitment to our mission at Bridgeway Academy and helping children with autism and other developmental disabilities to really shine. And so we can't thank you enough for being part of this special place with us and um, for your continued support and Don't belief in our work. And we're gonna end okay. with our cheers to Wind Down Wednesdays. We hope to see you in October for the next one, but please yeah. mark your calendars for October 8th we do have an exciting ribbon cutting ceremony. You know, we haven't been able to celebrate this no. place as publicly as we would like because of working through a pandemic um, on our campaign and, and being in this building. So we're excited to welcome everyone, we hope on October 8th for our official ribbon cutting ceremony of our new building. Yes, we'd love to see you all there. And on that we say, cheers. cheers.